But what the Canadian government also did is quietly change the DWI provisions in Canada. And basically any type of driving offense, whether it's DWI, DUI, DWAI, the lower ones, are now all deemed serious criminal offenses. Immigration attorney Rosanna Berardi is talking about the new Canadian law that kicks in tomorrow, cracking down on Americans with a drunk driving past. Right now, anyone with a DWI conviction has to wait 10 years to re-enter Canada automatically or you can apply for re-entry right away. But starting tomorrow, you'll no longer be able to apply right away, and there's no guarantee you'll even be able to re-enter after that 10-year mark. Instead, drivers will have to wait five years before they can even submit an application. You've got to be very mindful if you ever are convicted of a driving while well intox offense that it could impact your ability to enter Canada. Berardi says her office has been inundated with calls from Western New Yorkers who have been convicted of a DWI offense in the States and are worried about what will happen next. The people with the old DWIs generally don't need to worry. This is really a go forward. And along with waiting, applying for that new permit is going to cost you. Right now it costs $200 to apply for re-entry into Canada after a DWI. But come tomorrow, that fee jumps to $1,000. People try to do it on their own and most of the time it gets rejected. And without being completely self-serving, we see it time and time again where people will call and say, oh, I did this and screwed it up. So it, we always tell people it's sort of like doing your taxes, right? Like you can hire an accountant to do it or you can do it yourself. Um, but the issue with Canada is you've got to do an analysis of the Canadian Criminal Code compared to the U.S. Criminal Code, see if they're equivalent. It requires legal analysis. So you might be wondering, what does our law say about this? Well, a single DUI conviction is not grounds to deny entry into the United States, but multiple convictions could require someone to sign a waiver before crossing into Western New York. We're live in the newsroom tonight. Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News. All right, thank you, Hannah.